feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. Hey everyone, so hi everyone, okay? Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video. Today I am doing a good old Laura classic. It is a pretty little thing haul and not any old pretty little thing haul. It is only my first autumn pretty little thing haul, which is such a big deal. I feel like I have not done a pretty little thing haul in the longest time. I feel like what it is, guys, is Although I love fashion all year round, in the summer I'm just a bit like, mm, with fashion. I just much prefer it in the winter. I'm all here for layering and just jumpers and coats and just the general styling that autumn winter months enables you. I feel like when you can layer up outfits, there's just so much more about them. So yeah, I feel like I really come out of my shell in autumn winter with fashion and styling. So I'm so, so excited to finally be bringing you a good old Pretty Little Thing haul. This will be the first of many because Pretty Little Thing admittedly is is like one of my go-to shops in autumn and winter simply because it's affordable they're always bang on with fashion they always have on trend pieces that you sort of like see in zara and you know places that are a little bit more pricier for more affordable prices and yeah i just love plt can anybody relate to this you know when you order clothes offline and sometimes you get them and you're a bit like <laughs> wasn't what you was expecting, quality wasn't great, just a bit meh, but you're not really happy about it and then you end up returning things. But then do you know when you get one of them orders where you literally order like loads of stuff and you're in love with every single item, like you don't have like one bad item. I feel like that is this haul, so yeah. There's a lot of good stuff. I feel like it could be quite costly for you because honestly, I feel like if you don't want to be spending money, then you might not want to watch. But then I think you should watch because you can always add it to your wish list. But anyway, I'm going to get straight on in. So if you want to see what I picked up from Pretty Little Thing, then please continue watching. Okay, so in true haul style, are you ever actually doing a haul if you're not wearing something out of your haul? Mm -mm, you're not and obviously i'm wearing something pretty little thing and it is this beautiful roll neck ribbed knitted dress oh my goodness this was definitely one of those items that as soon as i saw the picture styled up as soon as i saw the item i just knew it was going to be a staple running through my autumn wardrobe that much so that i obviously had to pick it up in the cream as well it is simply just this long knitted dress and it has a side split at the bottom long sleeve in a really nice chunky knitted fabric good quality um, i also really really love the roll neck on it i've spoke about this before but with roll necks they have to be a really nice sitting roll neck i feel like with some roll necks it can be a bit funny a bit out of shape this as you can see is a really nice comfy one i feel so comfy and cozy with it and this is going to be such a nice piece to layer as we approach winter too pricing wise this was 22 pound which i think is really inexpensive unfortunately both colors are actually sold out on pretty little things so we're not starting off very good but same two wishes on shop tagger i won't go on about shop tagger too much this isn't sponsored by the way although i know i do work with them but yeah i have shop tagger which is basically just an amazing fashion app and if i ever see things that are sold out i always save it to my wish list on there but basically what that means is as soon as it comes back in stock you'll get notified straight to your phone so you haven't got to keep checking and you're not going to miss when it comes back in stock because i know for sure these will be restocked 100 i feel like these are going to be such good wardrobe essentials for autumn winter so yeah absolutely love both of these and i am going to check on both colors and show you how i would style these with my whole entire order does anybody else do that unknowingly like you just end up ordering the same color palette so mine is predominantly like creams beiges browns and then black that is just that's just me in a color palette the next thing i picked up was a pair of joggers so these are called on the website just casual joggers they're 20 pound and they're in the shade taupe now i have black joggers white joggers gray joggers but i was just looking for a wardrobe and what i was missing and i was really missing sort of like a more brownie beigey pair i think i want like a more lighter beige pair as well but i thought i'd get these to begin with um and to be completely honest i think i only own one pair of pretty little thing joggers so i wasn't too sure how 
how they fit, how they feel, are they comfy, are they not? And oh my god, I'm so pleasantly surprised with Pretty Little Thing joggers. Like I said, I've got one pair, but they're a drawstring pair, they're not like these. These are just their basic joggers that they have for £20, and they have so many different shades of these. I don't actually own a pair of these until now. Um, so yeah, they don't have a drawstring like normal joggers, but they're elasticated around the waist, so they fit really nice. They've got pockets, they're really, really soft. Like the fabric is so beautiful, and also inside, they're loop back, which means it's just like really fleecy and soft. I always speak about loop back fabric, but honestly, it's just such a favourite of mine. As soon as I put a jumper on or something on that's loop back inside, I'm like, oh my god, bliss. Um, so yeah, I got these in an eight. They're really nice, comfy, loose fitting, which I really like in joggers. I hate joggers that are like tight and stuck to you. Um, and yeah. These are just gonna go with so many outfits in the autumn, winter months, guys. Um, just shove on a nice little long sleeve top and a big oversized coat and trainers, and these will look absolutely beautiful. So yeah, picked up those. I'm so happy with the fit and general quality of those, so I know for sure I'll be going back and getting more colorways in them. to another autumn winter basic in my opinion and it is just a simple black oversized hoodie i just feel like for me personally an oversized hoodie is an absolute must staple essential in your wardrobe for autumn winter months trust me they don't ever go out of fashion they come back every single year and although they're just really simple just like a big black oversized hoodie they just have a way of just carrying off such an effortlessly stylish look so I would simply style this with faux leather trousers, a pair of biker boots, and then like a big chunky like white teddy coat or something. And honestly, it would just be such a good look. And not only that, you're gonna be so comfy and it's gonna keep you really warm. So yeah, I got this in a medium. I always like upsize and things like this. And this was only 18 pound, which I don't think is bad value at all. I did already have an oversized jumper, but it was one of them jumpers that everything stuck to. Do you know when you just get them fabrics and just, every little bit just clings to it so yeah i had to chuck it away because i just couldn't wear it and i just couldn't be doing with like debobbling it all the time um so yeah this one is a big improvement because nothing is sticking to it so that is really really good next thing i picked up which is another black item and this is called the black crepe contrast stitch wide leg trouser got these in a size six and they're just simply a pair of wide leg trousers in a crepe fabric and then as you can see they just sort of have this like white stitching down the side now when it comes to autumn winter fashion i'm a massive lover of a wide leg trouser again a wide leg trouser for me is always that style that is just super comfy but it looks extremely fashionista so you could by all means wear heels with these because i always feel like heels look really cute with a black wide leg but I actually just wear trainers underneath as well, just for a more comfy vibe. So you could just simply team like a black long sleeve top with this, and again, just a big biker jacket, a little short teddy coat, just another real simple piece. But I know we'll get loads of wear out, and they're so versatile, they'll go with so many different looks, and they can be styled so many different times. And again, these were only £15, which is such a bargain. Like it can be worn all year round, but I saw a lot of people wearing this in spring summer, but I couldn't get my hands on it. Every time I went to go and get my size, it was always out of stock. It was finally in stock, and I still really wanted it because I know for a fact this is gonna look so nice in the autumn months, and it is this simple wrap over um jumpsuit. What colour is it? Because it's not a white, it is called Ecru. So I would say it's a little bit of a cream, like an off-white. 
Um, so as you can see, it's just a wrap over jumpsuit, got sort of like short sleeves with turn back, also has a tie waist belt, and then it just goes into sort of like a relaxed straight leg. You guys know by now, I absolutely love a jumpsuit, and I don't have any jumpsuits like this in my wardrobe. I thought this, with a black biker boot, and then a black oversized coat would look absolutely unreal. Um, and yeah, I just, I just really wanted it. So yeah, this is £35. Like I said, there's so many different colourways. I got it in a size 6, which I'm definitely glad about because it does look quite big to be completely honest and um, but yeah i'm going to show you how i would start that up good old cohort because would it be a Laura Meacham haul without a feature of a cohort? No it wouldn't. So the next thing I picked up was actually a knitwear cohort and, and oh my goodness you know again when you just see something online you're like I need that. So it is this stone knitwear set so as you can see just simply a wide leg pair of trousers for the bottoms just in a really nice knitted fabric it has a tie waist belt as well these I can vouch for are super comfy and slouchy just absolutely perfect and with them being knitwear as well they're really really warm and then for the top we just simply have this long sleeve split sleeve crop top so as you can see it's long sleeve but it does actually have a split in the sleeve um, and as you can see it is quite cropped so that is the only thing I would mention about the top um, I wish it was a little bit longer but I'm not gonna lie I'm not really into like super like short crop tops I like them to be more like oversized and slouchy however saying that the trousers are high waisted so you aren't actually showing much midriff when you do try it on um so yeah that is actually really good yeah it's just one of them coordinates it's just super comfy super warm and just quite perfect for autumn to be honest with you i actually wore this earlier with just a pair of trainers um and yeah it looked really really nice so i got this in a size small to medium and i believe it was 30 pounds that I picked up honestly I could have picked up all of the quads because I just feel like I always have this gravitation towards coordinates I don't know what it is I just feel like just easy to wear guys you know how it is so the next one I picked up was actually from Ellie's range if you don't know um she's Miss Jocelyn on Instagram so she just brought out a range of pretty little thing um and honestly all the stuff is absolutely stunning I mean I could have had it all but the one thing that really did stand out to me was the coordinate set so this is called the cream tailored woven blazer i believe it is an oversized fit as well and this is what it looks like so this is an ace as you can see it's quite oversized but that's how i love to wear things anyway um so yeah it definitely needs a steam and i've got this trapped around my foot it's just simply this like cream oversized blazer and it's got all these beautiful buttons on the front as well and i obviously got the matching trousers to go with um which are called the cream tailored trousers i got those in a size Sick. Yeah, I got the trousers in a size 6 and then the blazer in an A. They just simply look like that, just a tailored pair of trousers. So that's going to look unreal as a coordinate, but I also really wanted to get this because I know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of the blazer as separate on its own. So the next thing I picked up I thought would look really nice underneath this 
or actually i think maybe more of a um more of like a beigey blazer would look good with this anyway i've got i've got the idea in my head um but the next thing i picked up was this little unitard so what is this actually called yeah it's just called lash anti camel unitard i don't actually know why i picked that up in an a because i'm looking at it now and it looks actually quite big and baggy but hey i always actually forget that we're pretty little thing i don't know how you lot find the sizing but i always find that i have to like go down by size or even two so my normal size is more of an eight but i can be a six in things so like on the top i am quite petite i can be a six on the top and then i'm an eight on the bottom so sometimes i can fit into sixes so like i'm a curvy six or an eight so yeah i'm just in between a six and an eight but i'm definitely not like a small six definitely not i am more of an eight but anyway with pretty little thing i just find that i'm a constant six and i mean i'm definitely not a constant six yeah i don't know how everybody else finds the sizes on there do you have to downsize or do you upsize or i don't know let me know anyway i come across this camel unitard and i just thought this would be absolutely stunning teamed with like a blazer and then just like a pair of trainers just for like everyday casual i absolutely love as you already know like jumpsuits play suits just all in one so just something i can chuck on that i don't have to like style up and i can just chuck a big coat on and some trainers if i can have all of my outfits like that and they still look stylish and fashionista then i feel like i'm winning in life this was 10 pound really inexpensive they also do it in black in different colors but again just quite an essential that i know will look amazing styled up in clothes okay so before we move on to the best part of the haul which is the coat section i'm going to show you the one pair of shoes that i picked up by the way i've just realized i'm missing two nails and i know someone always likes to point it out i'm going on holiday on saturday so i'm trying to do that thing where you just long out not getting your nails done because you want them so super fresh for holiday so yeah i'm gonna get them done on friday i think so i'm just having to persevere with the lack of nails at the moment um so next thing i picked up was a pair of shoes and it is these absolutely beautiful long black boots these are called the black slouch block heel calf boot so on the website i'm just looking at the picture they actually sit just under your knee and yeah i don't know about you guys but i'm just seeing long boots absolutely everywhere at the moment they're all over zara's website um where else have i seen them just just everywhere i've just seen a lot of gals style them up on instagram as well and i absolutely love how they look i feel like boots are one of those items that really make you look like super fashionable does that does that sound silly but do you know what i mean like I'll see a girl just wearing like a really simple jumper dress but then because she's got like knee high boots on it just takes it up a notch and it's like wow that looks so cool and stylish. I really like the look of these just simply because they had a block heel. I don't cope well with a stiletto heel. I really like the fact they've got more of like a point towards the end. I love sort of like pointed boots. They just look really nice and slouchy and comfy and with them being black as well I know they're just going to go with so many different looks. These were £50, so a little bit more on the pricier side, but you know what PLT is like, guys. They always have like a 20% off here and there, so I'm pretty sure you could probably get them for less than that. But yeah, I absolutely love them in the really nice quality as well. So, moving on to the items that you've all been waiting for, which is the coats. So, I picked up four coats in total, all different coats as well, because... You know, wanted to include some variety for you guys. So the first one I picked up is called the Camel Maxi Borge Coat. And this is what it looks like. I feel like this was on Pretty Little Thing last year, but it was always sold out and I couldn't get my hands on it. So, so happy to finally own this one. Just in a beautiful camel colour. It's in that sort of like teddy fabric. Um, and then it's got these toy toy shell buttons running down the coat these lovely oversized pockets on either side and then it goes down into like a midi length i absolutely love this i got this in a size 10 because i like my coats to be oversized and just big and then i can lay underneath them and yeah this is just going to be one of them coats that goes with so many different things it feels really warm and comfy as well i believe it was 60 pound yeah 60 pound but again like i said Pretty Little Thing often do like 20% off. So yeah, definitely take advantage when they have the 20% off and you could get it for like 48. So yeah, love that. next 
either gonna love or hate. It really is that sort of coat. It's a bit like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. It's so, so funny actually, because I did a photo in this on my Instagram the other day. And one of my friends, Lauren, that I speak to on Instagram, hey Lauren, if you're watching, she actually commented on my photo and was like, oh my God, you've managed to make a human sleeping bag look good. <laughs> I'd never looked at the coat as a sleeping bag before that. And now, all I see when I pick this coat up is an actual sleeping bag. It's so funny. And do you know what? Lauren, you aren't wrong because it feels like a sleeping bag when you wear this. So, I picked up this Stone Maxi hooded puffer. I got into the puffer coats last year. That was when me and puffer coats first started our relationship, let me tell you. I bought a black one from Primark and I honestly lived in it for the whole of autumn. Puffer coats, if you don't already know, are the warmest coats you will ever come across in your life. There is just something about them, guys. And I thought, you know what? I will make them stylish. I will make them look fashionable because I'm just at that age, guys, where I need to be warm and I need to be comfy. So yeah, if you're looking for warm and comfy, grab yourself a puffer. So this is what it looks like. It's in a stone color, sort of like a stony, beigey, light brown, you know, that sort of palette. And it has a zip through it, so you can zip it up and keep yourself really warm. Obviously just a puffer coat. It's got pockets either side. And it also has a hood. So if you couldn't be practical enough already with it being so warm and comfy, it also has a hood to keep your hair dry, which I'm just all about that life because not many of my coats nowadays have hoods. I actually didn't upsize this coat and I got a size eight, which is unlike me, but it looks that big on the website. I thought, God, if I upsize even more, I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, quite glad I did stay to an eight. Now, this time I picked up a different style. Like I said, I really wanted to include different styles of coats in this haul. I could have just gone with the classic teddy coat and just had all different variations of them. But I wanted to try and be different. Um, so, the next one I picked up was a trench coat. So, obviously, a trench coat is always a lot thinner than, like, you know, a teddy coat or a puffer coat. Um, and probably more typically worn in autumn. But I've seen a lot of people wearing trench coats just lately. And I really, really love them. I feel like they come back around every single week. Year, but this year I feel like I'm seeing them more. There's a really, really beautiful one on Topshop at the moment, which I'm sort of eyeing up. But anyway, I came across this one on Pretty Little Thing, and it's called the Stone Oversized Trench Coat in size 8. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is so stunning. So as you can see, it's got the sort of flaps here, and then toy toy shell buttons all the way around, and it also has a tie waist, guys. If my voice is sounding a bit funny. I feel like I'm actually losing my voice at the moment. I've talked so much in this haul already that we're close to going. I'm gonna try and make it through to the end. But yeah, again, just sort of styling options for this would be so nice. I would probably wear it open and then maybe a pair of like, um, where are them joggers? I feel like them joggers would look really nice under this. So like these joggers, um, like a nice hoodie underneath, white hoodie or something, trainers, even like a fedora hat with this. I'm really trying to get into fedora hats this year, guys. So if anyone knows where to do the best fedora hats, then let me know because whenever I buy a fedora, I feel like I actually look like an idiot. Does anybody else feel like that when they buy hats? Like you see everyone rocking them on Instagram and think, oh my God, you're so sassy. Like you look unreal. And then the moment you buy it and put it on, you look like an actual egg. So anyway, I really would like a fedora hat to go with this. because I think it would look really cool. But anyway, I don't know. Whether it will look cool on me is another thing. So this is actually only £45, which I don't think is bad at all. So yeah, really like that. of this haul and it is this grey borge like oversized what is it called grey oversized borge pocket front coat so this is a little bit different to me i don't actually think i have any grey coats do i have any grey coats 
No, I'm pretty sure I don't. But again, sorry I'm pretty little thing. And do you know how pretty little thing just do that thing where they just absolutely nail their styling? Like, they could have the most ugliest item of clothing, but if it's styled up right, I'm gonna buy it. And yeah, not, not to say this is ugly, guys, because it's definitely not. But do you know what I mean? This was just styled up so nicely on the website that I had to get it. So I feel like they'd styled this with, um, I think it was like white joggers, maybe like a white hoodie or something, and trainers. And then this was just styled over the top, and it just looked so comfy so relaxed just a really nice day to stay casual outfit so yeah i had to get it i'm all here for the oversizedness i'm all here for this sort of like borge i think the fabric is called borge but i really want to call it teddy fabric so i'm going to call it teddy fabric so yeah i'm all here for the teddy fabric and i just really like the style of this i really like the big oversized pockets on the front i really like the oversizedness of the jacket and i feel like this with joggers and trainers on a day-to-day -day casual outfit will look so stunning so I got this in a size 8, I didn't size up with it already being oversized, um, and it was £45, so yeah, love that. managing to speak currently but i don't know how much longer for i really really hope you have enjoyed my first of many pretty little thing hauls i know there's going to be so many because every single time i look on pretty little thing after i give it like two or three days i just see so much newness that i want i was on there last night and already seeing new and things that i need in my life so yeah let me know if you want any more hauls if you want any more styling videos or anything in particular that you want to see for autumn winter fashion do let me know in the comments down below thank you all so so much for watching and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye